Okay, in this video, we're going to be talking about triangle similarity properties. We've talked about triangle congruence properties, and we've talked about similarity. So triangle similarity properties are actually ways that we can show that two triangles are similar. So just for fun, I kind of put some pictures of some similar triangles on here. You can see these are the famous uh, pyramids of Egypt. Uh, we've got that one and this one here. And these actually are similar triangles. And uh, so is this one. Right. These are all similar triangles. Here's uh, a really interesting one, too. It's kind of like a bunch of triangles inside of a big triangle. So you've got that one, and then you've got like this one, and this one. So these are kind of some interesting shapes here. You've also got this one here, if you can see it. It's like kind of in the middle. It goes from there. You can really see it on the blue one. And then this right here, I don't know what the heck this is. Somebody went crazy with some triangles and built some tents or houses or something. I don't know. So I got this just off of Google Images. I thought this was kind of interesting, that these triangles are all the same shape but different sizes. So that's the idea of similarity. Okay, so let's go through all of our similarity properties. There's only three of these versus the congruence ones, which there's a little bit more for congruence. Okay. So the first one sounds a lot like the triangle congruence property of side, 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 but this is actually similarity side 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 and I'll show you what the difference is in a minute okay so <clears throat> uh, this says that two triangles are similar if all three pairs of sides of the triangles have the same ratio of similarity so the difference between congruence and similarity is that we're looking on the sides at least <clears throat> for the same ratio so here we go okay. you can see that we have a ratio between this side and that side of 2 to 4. So we can say that the ratio of segment uh, of segment AB to DE. So I'm just making a fraction out of my right so the length of AB and the length of DE let me get rid of my deal there. Um, that's equal to AB is 2 and DE is 4, so 2 to 4, so that's actually equal to 1 half, right, because we divide by 2 and we, get, we reduce our fraction and we get 1 half, okay. Uh, the next one is AC to DF, okay, so AC to DF, oopsie, sorry, AC to DF is 4 to 8, and that's also one half. Because you can already see here that our first two ratios, they're equal. Then my last ratio, let me get a different color pen here. Let's use yellow. Oops. Okay. Our last ratio is BC to EF. So the length of BC to the length of EF. And we know that that is 3 out of 6, or 3 to 6, and we can reduce that also to 1 half. Okay, so now we see that all three of our ratios are the same, so then we can say that our triangles are similar by the side, side, side property. Okay, so we can say triangle ABC is similar to, and this is the sim symbol for similarity. So notice it's the same as the congruence symbol, except without the equal sign. Okay, so that means similar. So ABC is similar to DEF. Triangle DEF, sorry. By the side, side, side. Okay. And I'm just going to make a note that this means similar here. Get a different color. It's going to make a note real quick that that symbol means similar. Of course, I ran out of room. Similar. Okay. All right, next one. The next one is the side angle side similarity. So again, it sounds exactly like the, congru uh, the congruence version, except it has the ratio again of the sides. Okay, so we're looking for that side ratio. Okay, so let's uh, take a look at this. We've got GI 
to uh, JL, that is 1 to 3. We don't need to reduce that because it's already reduced. We can't reduce one third. Okay. Then we can say that you'll see here uh, angle I and angle L are congruent by these little arcs, right? So we know that angle I and angle L are congruent. So I can say angle I is congruent to angle L. Okay. So that's just like uh, the uh, when we were doing congruence. The last one, we can say that the length of HI to the length of KL is equal to 3 out of 6. And we know that 3 out of 6 is equal to 1 third. Alright, so now our sides have the same ratio and we have the included angle because we got included angle. It has to be included on this one. Okay. So now we can say that our triangles are similar. We can say that triangle G H I is similar. There's our symbol for similar again. To triangle J K L. By the side angle side postulate or property. Pretty cool. There's one more of these, and it's pretty easy. It is angle, angle, angle. And I have a typo here. I think I can fix it on my computer. Let's see if I can fix this. There we go. Sorry about that. I forgot to change this. Two triangles are similar if all three pairs of angles and the triangles are congruent. So this is one that I actually mentioned when we did triangle congruence. And I mentioned that there were no cars. Remember we had talked about no cars and no butts? Well, this is the no cars one. And the reason being is because if you have three angles that are all congruent, what ends up happening is the triangles will be the same shape, but different sizes, which is bad for congruence, but for similarity, which we're doing today, that's good. So you'll see that angle R is congruent to angle O, and M and P are congruent, and Q and N are congruent. So that means that these two triangles are the same shape, but different sizes, and you can see that pretty clearly uh, in, the, in the triangles, how, how they look the same shape. Okay, so all we have to do then is just list our pairs of congruent triangles, or congruent angles. Okay, so we'll start with the O. So I can say angle O is congruent to angle R. Okay. Then we can go to P and N, or sorry, N and Q. Angle N is congruent to angle Q. And then angle O, or sorry, angle M and P are congruent. I'm trying to find a nice purple. Okay. Angle M is congruent to angle P. Okay, so this one here, we don't have to worry about ratios because we're not talking about side lengths. We're just talking about the angles of the triangles. So this one, this one, and... This one, okay, those three. Okay. So then we can say that the triangles are similar by angle, angle, angle. Okay, so you can say triangle M N O is similar to triangle P Q R by angle, angle, angle. All right. The last slide is just talking a little bit about the difference between the congruence properties and the similarity properties. So, let me show it to you. Come on.
Hmm. I don't know why this is not working. There it goes. Holy cow. Okay. So, congruence versus similarity. Our congruence properties, you'll remember, are the following. Okay, we had uh, SSS, SAS, ASA, and HL. Okay, and remember, congruence means same size and shape. Similarity, we just have three, SSS, SAS, and angle, angle, angle. And we have the same shape but different sizes. Okay, and again, with neither of them can we use ASS. Okay, no asses. This is an ass here. None of these guys. Okay, and remember SSA is just uh, ass backwards. So, can't use either of those for congruence or similarity. Which is kind of nice because we can't say it in class because it means, it doesn't mean just donkey, you know what else it means. And uh, so we can't use it as a property too, so it's easy to remember the one we absolutely can't use ever. Okay, that concludes triangle similarity. We're going to be, of course, practicing this quite a bit. Okay, hope you enjoyed the video, and I'll see you soon.